Hello and welcome to this lesson. This time we're looking at exponents as they appear in fractions. Okay, and obviously the idea would be to simplify. To simplify an expression where my frac or to simplify a fraction where my numerator and the denominator contains powers, bases and exponents. Now obviously we're going to use our one third law that says if I have a base and an exponent divided by a base and or the same base and another exponent then I can subtract the exponents okay so this is the basic idea but even more basic than that is the idea when it comes to fractions is that we want to cancel common factors that's the idea cancel common factors so the whole idea in simplifying fractions uh, that have exponents in it is to get common factors. Now very often this involves factorizing. Okay, this involves factorizing. Okay, and, uh, and that very often means prime factorizing. Changing your numbers into prime numbers. Okay prime factorization okay so here are a few tips and then in the next video we'll look at, uh, at a few more examples okay the first tip I would give you is change all bases into prime factors into prime factors Okay, now this you only need to do if you have different bases. Okay. Cool. The second one is to try and get same powers same powers now the whole idea is obviously you want to cancel common factors so you want something in the numerator to cancel with something in the denominator so you want a base exponent in the numerator and a base exponent in the denominator obviously you can see we want same bases that's the whole idea here so if I change all the bases into prime factors if my bases are different bases so if one is for example 10 to the power of something and in the denominator I've got 6 to the power of something then I'll change the 10 and the 6 into uh, prime factors okay if however um, I I do that what I now try also to do is to try and get same powers and to do so I might have to I might have to split up the exponent okay so if I say I want the same power what I mean is I want a base and exponent over a base and an exponent I want the whole thing to be the same now where this comes in is sometimes I've got something like 2 to the power of x plus 1 divided by 2 to the power of x minus 3. Now you can see I've got the same bases but I don't have the same exponents. So what I can do is using my one of the first laws is say this is 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 1 because when bases are the same I can add up the exponents so I'm just doing it backwards. I'm adding exponents so I'm multiplying bases and this one can be 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of negative 3. Now look how I created same powers by splitting up my exponents and now those can cancel and I'm left with uh, 2 over 2 to the power negative 3. Now there's a different way of simplifying this, much easier, but for the type of problems we're going to encounter uh, this is going to be an important step. Okay. The third one would be simply to factorize. Obviously, we are working with 
fractions. Um, and to simplify a fraction, I need to cancel common factors. To cancel common factors, I need factors, which means if I don't have factors, if I've got terms, something like 2x plus 6x plus 1 over 2x minus 1 plus uh, let's make this 10 x plus 4 okay I've got something something like that now what you'll notice is the first thing I'm going to have to do is to change all my bases into prime since I've got different bases I'll change it into prime so this is 2 x plus 6 becomes 2 times 3 but remember both of them must get the exponent this is a very common mistake both of them get the x plus 1, that's why we put it in brackets, divided by 2. And here, you see I want the 2x, so I'm going to break up this into 2x times 2 to the power of negative 1, plus, and 10 will become 2 times 5, times uh, to the power of x plus 4. Again, the 10 is 2 times 5, so I put it in brackets and give the exponent. And then in my next step, I can go ahead here simplify this a little bit 2 to the power of x plus now the exponent may be multiplied to uh, the exponents of each factor so it's 2 to the power of x plus 1 times 3 to the power of x plus 1 all over 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of negative 1 plus and here again I uh, multiply in exponent to the exponents inside so this is x plus I think that should be 4 it should be a 4 um, and 5 to the power of x plus 4 and here you can see once again we're just using these same ideas over and over okay so in this case the the next point would be to break up I want this 2 to the power of x so I have to break it into 2 to the power of x so this is 2 to the power of x plus this one as well I'll break up the exponent into 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of x plus 1 I don't have a 3 to the power of x somewhere so here it won't it won't really matter divided by 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of negative 1 plus 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 4 times 5x plus 4 as exponent. And now we see here's where the factorize step comes in. And the factorize step I'll take out a common factor or somehow I must factorize to cancel out. So in this case I'll take out a common factor which this time is 2 to the power of x. 2 to the power of x I can take out as a common factor I'm left with 1 here not 0 remember plus here I'm left with 2 times 3 to the power of x plus 1 and in the denominator same thing I can take out a 2 to the power of x and the denominator I'm left with this will be a half 2 to the power of negative 1 a half plus and here the 2 to the power of x is out 2 to the power of 4 is 16 times 5 to the power of x plus 4. Good, and here then the last step would simply be to simplify. Simplify using what, what we've learned. So in this case we can cancel those and we're simply left with 1 plus 2. Please be careful, this is not 2 times 3, 6 to the power of x plus 1. We can only multiply bases if their exponents are the same. This one's exponent is 1, so this is simply a coefficient. 2 is a coefficient of 3 to the power of x plus 1 over, and in the denominator, same thing. I've got a half. If you want to, you can multiply the everything in the denominator with 2 and in the numerator with 2 to get rid of that half. Okay, but it's not necessary. 16 times 5 to the power of x plus 4. Okay. Uh, there's no way of simplifying this any further. This was actually a terrible example. I'm sorry about that because this it usually will simplify to like one or even two. <laughs> okay, 
it will seldom be something that looks like it should go further but in this case just for the demonstration I just thought up something and uh, it incidentally could not go any further but anyways in the next couple of videos I'll do some terrible examples really difficult stuff and you'll see it's actually not difficult when you use these four easy steps change change bases into prime factors if the bases are different try and get the same powers by breaking up the exponents factorize always comes into play if there's multiple terms in other words pluses and minuses factorize come into play and then simplify would be where you cancel the common factors and you're usually left with a very simple answer well um, I'll see you in the next couple of videos to show you actually what I mean